With all the beautiful images that come down the pipe from Hubble, our solar system has been left with celestial body image questions rivaling that of your average teenager. They're questions we're all familiar with. Is my posture crooked? Do I look pasty? Are my arms too long? Is it supposed to bulge out like this in the middle? Some of my larger asteroids are slightly asymmetrical. Can everyone tell? And of course, the toughest question of all, am I normal? The idea that stars are suns with planets orbiting them dates back to early human history. This was generally accompanied by the idea that other planetary systems would be much like our own. It's only in the last few decades that we've had real evidence of planets around other stars, known as exoplanets. The first extrasolar planet was discovered around a pulsar in 1992, and the first hot Jupiter was discovered in 1995. Most of the known exoplanets have been discovered by the amazing Kepler spacecraft. Kepler uses the transit method, observing stars over long periods of time to see if they dim as a planet passes in front of the star. Since then, astronomers have found more than 1,700 exoplanets, and 460 stars are known to have multiple planets. Most of these stellar systems are around main sequence stars just like the Sun, leaving us with plenty of systems for comparison. So is our solar system normal? Planets in a stellar system tend to have roughly circular orbits, just like our own solar system. They have a range of larger and smaller planets, just like ours. Most of the known systems are even around G-type stars, just like ours. And we're even starting to find Earth-sized planets in the habitable zones of their stars, just like ours. Well, not so fast. Other stellar systems don't seem to have the division of small, rocky planets closer to the star and larger gas giants further away. In fact, large Jupiter-type planets are generally found close to the star. This makes our solar system rather unusual. Computer simulations of early planetary formation shows that large planets tend to move inward towards their star as they form due to its interaction with the material of the protoplanetary disk. And this would imply that large planets are often close to the star, which is what we observe. Large planets in our own system are unusually distant from the Sun because of a gravitational dance between Jupiter and Saturn that happened when our solar system was young. Although our solar system is slightly unusual, there are some planetary systems that are downright quirky. There are planetary systems where the orbits are tilted at radically different angles, like Kepler-56, and a sci-fi favorite, the planets that orbit two stars like Kepler-16 and 34. There's even a planet so close to its star that its year lasts only 18 hours, known as 55 Cancri E. And so, the Kepler telescope has presented us with a wealth of exoplanets that we can compare our beautiful solar system to. Future telescopes such as Gaia, which was launched in 2013, TESS, and Plato, slated for launch in 2017 and 2024, will likely discover even more. Perhaps even discovering the holy grail of exoplanets, a habitable planet with life. And who knows, maybe we'll find another planet just like ours. What say you? Where should we go looking for habitable worlds in this big bad universe of ours? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. And we couldn't do this without the members of our Patreon community. People like David Drager and the many others who join us to help create and deliver great space and astronomy content. If you'd like to join our community, which gets you advanced access to episodes, as well as extras and behind the scenes content, click here and head on over to Patreon. Maybe just everything here makes that noise. <laughs> everything is a two stroke gasoline engine. Yeah. All right. He's going to come back too.